night class. Oh, I got something the boy behind your night class. I forget how that song goes. But anyway, hello everybody. My name is Zoot and welcome to Night Class, a vampire story. This apparently is a short visual novel about vampires or something. I don't know. My mouse is in the way. Hang on one second. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. My name is Rowan something. I'm 23. I look younger and feel older. Well, that sounds about right. Like, my case, anyway. I'm 27. I don't look, like, much older than 20-something. I feel like I'm older, though. But that's probably because I may or may not be mentally okay. But whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. I try to be friendly and cheerful to everyone I meet. You never know whose day you might be salvaging from misery with a smile and a kind word, after all. That's why I make people laugh, or try to. To hide the pain inside. You never know who might secretly be so miserable that they want to curl up and die. I mean, you wouldn't guess just from looking at that I feel hollow and numb inside, right? Same boy. Girl. Whatever. I use boy with an I and I consider it gender neutral, but like, I don't know, it's different for people. Know that if you're not a boy, and I call you boy, it's the- it's a meme? It's not- I- I'm not actually serious, like, unless I know that you identify as it. Whatever, I'm shutting up now. Or that one day, recently, I woke up and realized that nothing in my life made me happy anymore? But it's true. I spent so many hours at my dead-end job that I lost touch with my friends. I was kind of a rebel when I was younger, so I never got much in the way of an education. I don't have any talents or interesting hobbies. Well, how would we know unless you told us what your hobbies are? Just saying. I've always just let life happen to me instead of taking control over things. I just don't really understand the point in getting invested in anything. The ironic thing is that the only strong emotion I can manage is, how, is hating how apathetic I am. I wish I felt more alive. I wish I felt connected to the world. So when I saw an ad for night classes at the local community college, I decided to give it a shot. Maybe if I feel less like an ignorant idiot, I'd, it'll be easier to fix some of the other things wrong with me. I'm not exactly making the most auspicious start to my life changes, though. I'm already running late. I guess the plus side of feeling numb all the time is that I don't feel particularly panicky about being late. Uh, yeah, fair enough, because, like... It's not the end of the world, but at the same time, you probably should start, like, taking responsibility for it, you know? Just saying. Don't be like Dude Run who plays video games all the time. Anyway, no, not that I feel enough to appreciate that fact, obviously. Taking a deep breath, I, la I tell myself to stop being caught up in my thoughts and to face this new challenge with as much enthusiasm as I can dredge up from the inside of my sluggish heart. A study group about marketing isn't exactly my natural habitat, but that's sort of why I'm here. Oh, you just chose marketing, okay. Why, though? Business subjects are supposed to help you think strategically about how to get what you want, right? I could use some of that. I'm the last one to arrive, so there aren't many seats left. The other students seem like a pretty eclectic group. I wind up taking an empty seat at a table where two guys are sitting. Hey, I'm Jake. This is my brother Aaron. I'm Rowan. Pleased to meet you. Jake said... Jake lets me share his textbook since I don't have one. When am I going to get a textbook, though? It looks like he's probably about the same age as me. Or he's significantly older. I don't know. We'll find out when we uh, discover how old they are. Though, if everyone's a vampire but me, then that would mean that everyone's possibly older. His brother, shorter and slighter than he is, barely looks old enough to be in college. He could probably pass for a high schooler if he had the inclination. I've never understood why adults go undercover at high schools in so many movies, though. Because they never graduated high school? Who would voluntarily go back to high school after escaping it? I say so many movies when I really can think of two, maybe three. It just feels like a lot because it's such a stupid idea. Probably because they didn't finish their high school education, or they wanted to just see what it's like to go through high school yet again as an adult with an adult mindset rather than a puberty mindset. Obviously, I'm not exactly giving the class discussion 100% of my attention. 
That is until Aaron hijacks the conversation. It's not just about making a product seem like an appealing or useful thing to own. People can get a million appealing, useful ideas. What you need to do is convince them that what you're selling is going to get them closer to being the person they imagine themselves to be. I don't know if that's true. People are pretty savvy. They can spot when they're being manipulated like that. Can they, though? I don't think anyone really believes that using the same brand of phone as James Bond makes you sexier and stuff. Do you, though? Are you sure? Because that sounds like marketing in general. Give me a break. I'm not talking about remedial shit like that. Selling a few million phones because you put an actor in a tuxedo in your commercials is hardly revolutionary. I'm talking about truly inspired work. Can I give an example? Edward Bernays. He lived at the beginning of the, tw the 20th century. Back then, most men smoked, but almost no women did. The American Tobacco Association wanted women to start smoking. They were missing half of the potential market, after all. So Bernays hired a group of fashionable young, fashionable young models to join suffragette... Suffragette marches? Eh, suffragette? Is that... Am I pronouncing that right? And to smoke while they did it. He had them talk about their cigarettes as torches of freedom. And here we are, a century, a century later, and the whole world knows that if you want a woman to look rebellious and powerful, you put a cigarette in her hand. What Bernays did was nothing short of a work of art. Also, a way to give yourselves lung cancer. Like, it's also a stress reliever of some kind, so who am I to judge? I know marketing isn't exactly known for its moral purity, but that's pretty appalling. I don't think it's okay to sound so reverent about manipulating billions of people into doing something that kills them. Don't sound so self-righteous. The other girls thought they were joining in with holding up torches of freedom and they were happy, then everyone wins, don't they? I think she means that it's not fair to trick people into... It. Nobody wins. It's not a fucking game. Sure, if you say so. Uh, in marketing, the one who gets the m the money wins. That's the problem. If you treat it like a game, then it becomes a game, and for you at least, and then everyone else is just being shit on. That's the problem. Yeah. It's the first of several sniping matches Aaron and I have before class is over. Sometimes Jake tries to settle things down, but it doesn't really work. But time we file out of the library an hour and a half later, the only thing I've learned for sure is that I still have more of a temper than I thought I did. Turns out that apathy is being really annoyed at someone, I guess. A little bit, yeah. Not gonna lie. The only way to not feel nothing is to feel anger. Not really, but like, it's one feeling you can have, I guess? I gotta keep an eye on my time. I gotta go to work soon. I'm about to walk to the train station to head home when I hear raised voices from nearby. You can't just forget to eat lunch and dinner, you goddamned idiot. If I hadn't been there, you'd collapse here on the sidewalk. Come on, we'll get you a burger or something right now. Fine, honestly, I'm not even hungry. Let's just go home. Who's who again? Shut up, we're going for burgers. Oh, really, I don't... Jake doesn't sound happy about bull being bullied into eating food he doesn't want. To be honest, I might just be looking for a reason to get on Aaron's case. To say the guy rubs me the wrong way is putting it mildly. Everything okay? Fuck off! Aaron! Whatever, I'll see you at home. Well, I already don't like... Aaron. Not that I didn't like him to begin with. Because our first impression was marketing to him as a game, which I guess is the mindset for most people in marketing. I don't know. I don't work in marketing, but like that's a that is a uh, a valid mindset to have when you're in marketing. Cause like you got to think of what the company wants, or rather what you want, rather than what the people want. And it's sad. A good mindset, though, would be treat people what, with respect and as people, rather than as sheep to spend money. As much as I hate to admit it, Aaron had a point. Jake looks pretty beat. 
At least now we're outside, I can have a smoke. Oh, sorry. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I'm an occasional smoker myself, or at least I was back when I had a social life worth mentioning. Just make sure that I'm, like, standing in the direction of the wind, rather than, like, being downwind of the smoke, because I can't handle that. I hope I explain that properly. I want to be not where the smoke is blowing into me. That's what I mean. You know it's unhealthy, but everything can kill you sooner or later. Phones give you cancer. Skipping the cryptic crossword leads to dementia. Even smoke alarms give off radiation. I know it's gross. I just figured if I don't... Figured that if I don't die from random super flu, then carbs will get me, or Y2K, or whatever, you know? I think you're safe from Y2K. Yeah, it's 2019! We've been safe from that for, like, 19 years. Yeah, I know. Give me one of those. We're not even gonna ask politely? It's like... I mean, cool that he's a bro, but... Eh. Oh shit, I'm the after-school special that... I'm the after-school special the Ninja Turtles warned us about. I didn't mean to peer pressure you into drugs. We've only had one class together. We're hardly peers yet. I don't even know for sure if I'm gonna enroll in this one for real. You should. You were the only one there tonight who kept up with Aaron. He's not really an asshole. Not as much as he seems like. I'll... I ain't buying it. He hands me a cigarette, then clicks the flame in, back into life with his lighter and holds it up for me. I have to lean in toward him, inhaling until the cherry starts to burn. Actually, I take that back. He's that much of an asshole. There wasn't a week went by when we were kids that he didn't get into a brawl or something he'd who'd have been pushed so far. A lot of the time, that someone was me, in fact. God, we hated each other. We seem to get along pretty well now. Well, yeah, well, you ever see that Lilo and Stitch movie? Are we allowed to talk about this? Are we allowed to talk about Disney? Am I gonna get sued? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, the alien? Yeah, sure. We're kind of siblings like that. Our parents died and some other messed up stuff happened, so now we won't- don't get into arg- We don't get to argue and fight like regular brothers. Solidarity and all that. It's a hell of a lot of work. I know I only just met you guys, but it seems like- seems to me like you're doing a pretty good job of it. If I had a little brother like Aaron, I don't think I could manage to keep my calm like you do. I would, uh, have problems with that, too. And I wouldn't fight him so much as argue with him. I don't know, I've never had a brother. I had a sister. We argued a lot. Sometimes fought a little bit. Wasn't fun. Oh man, no, Aaron's not my little brother. He's four years older than I am. He was attacked by a vampire when he was 20. Luckily, he didn't die of his injuries. Unluckily, the reason he survived was because the vampire made Aaron into one, too. Now he doesn't age. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. That's ah, cool. He gets huffy if he hears people getting it wrong. But I tell him that's his own fault for acting like such a brat. We're just gonna glance over the fact that your brother's a vampire and not wonder what the fuck. Is this a normal occurrence? Well, this is my place here. You can shortcut to the train station if you go down the block and to the left. It was nice to meet you, Rowan. I hope you do decide to stick with the class. Thanks, Jake. I'll see you around. Even though it's been one lesson so far, and the lesson in question was mostly spent arguing with the jerk, I'm already feeling so much happier since I started night class. I'm finally starting to feel like an adult. I keep thinking about what Jake said and about how Aaron's older than he looks. Kind of figured he would be because this is a game about vampires, but... Are we just gonna... Are we just gonna glance over the fact that it's a vampire thing? Or is this a normal thing for this society? Because I assumed that this was, like, average modern society where vampires don't actually exist, or we think they don't exist. And this is like a secret society or something. The two of us have that in common, although in my case it's just because I've got a baby face. I've never met a vampire before, not that I'm aware of anyway. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed that Aaron was one, except that Jake told me. So maybe I've met other vampires in the past and just never known. 
Anyway, vampire or human or whatever, it makes no difference to me. Aaron gets on my nerves because of his personality, not because of what he is. Nick's a lot nicer to spend time with than his brother. So I'm not sure why I find myself thinking of both of them in equal amounts, considering how different my feelings are between them. Because one's a vampire, and the other's nice. Is this Twilight? Am I witnessing a spinoff of Twilight? Please, no. I don't want that. I don't want that. It, this is not something I asked for. Please, no. Please, for the love of God, no. Anyway. I think I'm going to save this here and end the episode. So I need to consider time. Unfortunately. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Sean and all for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to these people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!